Hello there and welcome back to Starcom Nexus. I was going to say XCOM Nexus. No, 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 I'm done with XCOM. Right, here we go, Starcom. We're back at Kite Station. We recently went further afield and explored and found a Pulsar, I believe it was, and as well as uh, some more ships that can eat us up quite comfortably. So we're back here hoping that we have more research points, but guess who wants to have a little chat? You won't believe it if it decides to open. Mr. Victor Pillman, of all people. Well, well, well. See what he wants. This drive you found with the Morningstar markings is very advanced. We don't have anything like that in the fleet. Hmm, maybe it's a top secret new drive. That might explain how it got it. Oh, okay, you know. Trust me, it's not. But what would I know? You're the one out there. You're the one of the, 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 the starship that I'm more qualified to pilot, but whatever. I have connections at the highest levels of Starcom research. I might not know about every research project, but I'd know something this big. Okay, can we use to get back home? No. Stop saying the wrong thing, idiot. First, unless you've been holding out on us, we don't even know which way home is. Second, the way this device works seems like it would be a limited, like it would be limited to relatively short distances. Maybe across a sector at most. No, oh, that sounds good enough to me. I need some time to look at it more carefully, which I have lots of. I have lots of time because I'm here, not out there, enjoying this new, new galaxy. I'll let you know if and when I find some practical information, blah, 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 blah. Right, so he's, he's pissed off at me because I keep pretending. I'm, do you know who I am? All right, to this guy. I'm that guy who sort of acts like he knows what he's on about. And he's like, oh, just, just, just no, stop acting like you know what you're on about. I'm siding with Pillman over myself here, seriously. <laughs> anyway, we also have a whopping 805 research points, which is insane. That is insanity. Madness. So what we would like to do, I think, is... Yes, we want better energy production. Thank you. We would like also accelerated repair speed. Thank you again. With advanced material, give all modules additional 35. Okay, so if we have armor modules, ourselves so, and neighbors by plus 150. So we could really up our armor. We might have to do that if we're going to survive. Uh, but before we do that, let's not blow it all until we've done something with uh, missiles. Increase the speed of missiles by 25%. Yep, sounds good. Improve telemetry. Uh, sure. Let's do it all. Increase the range of missiles. Expanded magazine. That's okay. Ooh, here we go. Rocket efficient. Increase the range of missiles some more. Even better missile turning. Increase the speed. Increase the blast radius and damage. Oh, that's a lot of research points, but that could be juicy. We do like them. We do like it a lot. What about down here? Is anything groovy here? I like long range scanners, please. I would like that. We do seem to be doing a bit more training. Debris harvester. Additional increase to the probability of resources and artifacts being dropped from degree. Debris, not degree. Let's go for that. That sounds good. It could pay off quite a bit over time. Expanded command. Yes, let's have five more people aboard. Our ship's getting bigger, so we can accommodate that, I'm sure. And increase the range of our tractor beam. Significantly increase tractor beam collection speed. I don't feel like that's massively necessary. Do you know what I mean? I like this though. Yeah, better trading prices. Are we going to use armor? I mean, let's, before we use the, the, our last 110. Okay, we actually don't have enough of anything. <laughs> okay, well we've made the missiles better, alright? That's, that's what matters. Speaking of which, what do we need for it? Cobalt. What do we have lots of? We have tons of neutronium, of course, and tons of tritium, but I don't I think it's just because we're not using them. Well we're not using them anymore, but plasma turrets are all we have them for there. Um do you know what? Let's have a quick chat with where is he? Where's the trader? Dunno. Alright, never mind. Scratch that. Uh okay, we we've got our reactor speed, we Oh no wait, we've only got nine crew. <laughs> I almost did that. Almost did it again. We need 11 more crew. I wonder if that has an effect on conversation. Like, you've lost half your crew. No, 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 no. We've just expanded command. Hello. How does it go? Um, 
Still working on the tutorial. Was there anything else? Uh, yeah, we could use. Why? Who would be excited to join this crew? I mean, we're all dying. Maybe. Do you want to die? Maybe that's what it is. Everyone wants a heroic death. I guess that's what it is. Alright, we've got 20 crew now. Increased repair speed, so we might last a little bit longer. That's if I could build some armor. That's what I would like to do. Uh, so today, we are actually. I've changed my mind, basically. We are. Have we explored there? I don't believe we have. Yes. We we went down here before, didn't we? And we messed a few things up. No, down here was the battleship. We're going over here. We're going into the unknown. We're gonna do it. Boom. All right. There's hostiles. 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 Too many hostiles. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I want to have anything to do with these guys. Oh no, it's Kytek. We can handle that. Uh, how do we shoot missiles again? There it is. Bye. Oops. A bit of a collision there. It's alright, let's just uh, finish you off. Thank okay. you. I tell you what, the, these missiles are looking. Uh, can we get this one? Thank okay. you. Oh, or that one. And you're gone. And you. You can go too. Ah, this is alright. We can comfortably handle this. <laughs> oh, hello! You're not what I was expecting. At least we did some damage to you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Retreat! Retreat! Oh, we took a lot of damage, but we did deal a lot of damage as well, I should point out. Okay. That was... That was nasty. Right, is that the same ship? I believe it is, yeah. Right, we have to go. We have to get out of here. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> we went down to like, how much health? Like 10? 10? Down to like 9 30? Woo. Oh, mercy me. At least we still got our 19 crew. Um, oh, do you know what? We can probably take out that little kitek. I see they're working together then. Or they don't mind each other. That's probably the better way to put it. Right, uh, where are you even going? Oh, there you are. Can we... Are these going to reach? Yes, they are. Right, let's go. Let's go before he uses his lasers. Right, good. He's, he's on fire. He is on fire. Oh, let's get rid of you. Okay, we need armor. We really need some armor. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Okay, he's coming after me though. That, that's good. That's good. That is good. Okay, let's uh, boost up a bit. Let's. Alright, go, go, get out of here. Oh, 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 there is not much of you left, sunshine. Let's see if we can finish you off, please. Yes! Okay, oh, I see why we want the tractor beam now. Extended tractor beam range. What do we get? Adamantine. Oh, adamantine! <gasps> That's rare. Come on, shield generators. Okay. Alright, there's another tricky one out there. It's a smaller one. A smaller sentinel ship. Okay. Alright, these guys up here I think we're going to be dealing with first. Hello? Hello? Let's just launch missiles and see what happens. There he is. The other one. Got a few hits with the lasers on him. Right, can we... Oh, that's Turbo. Let's go, let's go! He's just tearing us up. Jeez. Sentinel Cutter. Ugh. Things are horrible. Well, we might as well scan this planet while we're down here. There's a anomaly. An anomaly anomaly. Okay, we can launch, I think, a few more. Mm. 
Oh, nice. Ooh. Beam crystal. We found part of a beam weapon by itself. It's not enough to start research, but maybe we can find additional components. So there you go. All right, let's send a team down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <gasps> Plus 11 cobalts. That is actually quite nice. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Ta-ra. Um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, we've got one more enemy here. Hmm. We appear to have a friendly. No, 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 that's just the... Uh, <laughs> My bad. It's not, a, not necessarily friendly, just, uh, I mean, that is friendly to us. Let's scan this planet before we engage in this Kytic Destroyer. Is that going to be a big boy? Alright, so the, the signal that just barely tripped the anomaly sensor is a cylinder made up from neutronium alloy dr drilled into the underlying bedrock. On top, etchings in an alien language are still clearly visible thanks to the metal strength. The universal translator is able to make partial translation. Uh, stuff and plus neutronium. Cool. Thank you, dude. That's, uh, much obliged. Alright, I want to take you on. I'm sure whatever you are, we can handle you. You don't seem to be moving. Okay, you're gone. <laughs> you're, you're, you, you, it's like you were never there. Beautiful. Alright. And now we can scan in peace. So, what have we found? Near the equator of this temperate world is a picture of tranquility. A gentle mountain stream cutting through an arboreal zone. But what triggered the anomaly reading lies below the surface. A significant deposit of neutronium. Probably a meteor. Unfortunately, there's no way for the team to reach it without clearing a large chunk of this ecosystem. Eh. There's no sentient life. Ooh, plus 61. Oh, wow. The team takes some hollow wrecks of the scene for posterity before using the lander's drill to laser and to laser and laser to reach the meteor. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Must speak better. Okay, uh, yes, come back away team. Thank you. We Audi. I wonder if the away team can get shot at. Oh, hello. Is that another one of those cores? If so. Yeah, already discovered one of those. I wonder if you can, oh, maybe you, you can use that. That's probably why it's there. Alright, uh, we've not scanned you yet. Another one of those at Desert Worlds. We have nothing on it this time. Normally they always do. They always want to troll me. Usually fine. So we've lost two crew. Oh, hello. Kytic Scout. I tell you what, the, uh, the missiles are much better now. Now that we have the ability to turn and such. Alright, five titanium. Thank you very much. We are out of here. Let's explore further. Okay, let's not. <laughs> let's try that again. There we go. And, ooh, you're sending me up this way, are you? Interesting. Okay, what is there? We've got friendlies, we've got unknown striker. I don't like it. I don't like the word striker. Let's see what it Yeah. Let's get ready to. Yeah, they're on our way to me now. Yeah, they they, they were coming for us. <laughs> I don't think they were friendly. I don't think they were we we took on we saw one of those before, didn't we? We've never actually had a conversation with them. Um, I hope they're not going to come through. Wouldn't appear so. Okay, well, <laughs> I think that's enough of, uh, of you guys. Oh, what's that? I kind of destroy it. Whatever, I don't care. Yawn. Alright, let's get back up here. Believe it or not, because we're going to go out across this way. No, we're not. Hang on a moment. Have we explored? We have explored all this already, haven't we? Oh. Oh yeah, of course we have. It's this one we've not explored. No, that is a new white dwarf star. No, oh, uh, where did I just go to? Whatever it was, I didn't mean it. Sorry. Okay. Uh, traders. There's a trader. There's... 
Hmm. You know what? Even get some platinum from you. Okay, let's have a look. Something about swimming together. Can we look at your things for things? Would you like some neutronium? Oh wow, you're going to give me loads of... <gasps> we can get 75, I'm sure. What is your trade rate? Okay, let's bring it back down. There we go. Good value for money. Still have loads of neutronium and tons of platinum. So let's actually go things for knowledge. There's something else, isn't it? A story from the Undeep. 85 platinum. Yes, please. An eloquent trader found itself stranded far off in the Undeep. The whirlpool that brought them there had closed without warning. They could not call for help. So they set their ship for home and went to their sleeping eggs. While they slept, their ship recorded a voice from the void, a single song of no words. What it meant, they did not know, only where it came from. Minus 1.59 by 4.44. There you go. Cool story, bro. <laughs> uh, um, let's have a look. Um, minus, oh. Uh, we would like to, we would be delighted to make another exchange of knowledge with you. Uh, I can't remember how you sounded. Uh, let's go for telemetry. Oh, look at all these research points. We've been transmitted a partial blueprint for a device that the Vandari have encountered, but unable to build itself. It's incredibly advanced. Well, wow, that sounds pretty. We'd like to trade goods as well. Sure. What do you, what do you want? Cobalt. <gasps> yes. Give me cobalt. Give me cobalt. Because cobalt means missiles. We want missiles in the masses. How much... Titanium do I have? Not a lot. Oh, that we can pick that up for the cheap. So uh, that's like one more set of missiles. Where's the cobalt? Oh wait, there, up there. Ugh, I'm stupid. Okay, fantastic. Um, it's been lovely chatting with you all. You're, you're a very sociable bunch. These are all our friends, basically. So we've got these these guys that but. Uh, Trade research. How's the Sorid doing? Hello, my friend. Oh, no, I don't have anything. I know about the Kytig. I'm trying to... All right, you know what? Um, oh, actually, about the races in this region. What do you mean about the Vandari? Oh, okay. I, I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, uh, and I didn't. I thought I missed it. Oh, I'm, I'm going. Whatever, guys. Laters. Okay, I could have sworn. I used Turbo. Oh, they got rid of that. Maybe it was a bug for me when it worked. Never mind. All right, we're going to go to that white dwarf star over here. So I shall see you when I get there. Oh, hello. What was that? I, I was just about to have a swig of coffee and then uh, my ship tried to pick something up. What is this? A mysterious blur. Ooh. We've recovered some jetsam from a vessel. Nothing particularly valuable, but it gives us some data on its unknown makers. Okay. Hmm. Fascinating. Now right, go cool. I'll, I'll take. I'll always take research points. Clearly. So interestingly, those coordinates that they gave me are very, very close to home. Very close, actually. So we're going to have to go check them out. Uh, but anyway, we're almost here. In fact, we are more or less here. We've got a few planets to explore. We've also got... This is this one of those fly thingies? There's two. There's two things here. One must be idle and one must not be. Uh, but first, we're going to go ahead and... Look at this gaspy giant. I would be surprised yet. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if there were any anomalies down there. Ah, oh, is that an asteroid? <gasps> now I've played enough games to know if something's a particular colour, it must be a certain resource. I thought it was green. I was hoping it would be adamantine or something. I'm busy thinking of what was that game, that browser game that everyone used to play? RuneScape? <laughs> It was like the green rocks, wasn't it? What is it? Neutronium. Okay, it's another neutronium rock here. Cool. Well, that's good to know. 
Uh, let's take a look at what's up here. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Discovery, Starship Debris. Scans indicate that this is a debris field from a very large and powerful ship. Structural design was probably more advanced than anything we're capable of building. You don't say. For Neutronium, are you going to give me Adamantine? Whoa. Okay, very nice. Just to give me a few bits and bobs here. That's one big ship. Look at anything else I'm going to be able to build. Damn. Hmm. Well, we've already got all this uh, Neutronium. I'm looking for the Adamantine if possible. Gonna look at some nothing. A bit cheap, aren't you? I don't think we're really gonna get much. All right, pretty much gonna leave it there. Live way. Oh, oh, here we go. Whoa! Advanced reactor design. This debris, though heavily damaged, yielded valuable data on the maker's reactor system. Like ours, it uses chirolite to transform normal matter into antimatter, but with much less positron loss. Me. Pretty groovy. So, uh, I wonder if we'll find anything else then. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Advanced ship material that this debris, though heavily damaged, yielded more valuable data on the maker's ship fabrication technology. Alright, nice. And what about how it's made? And. 205! We've discovered. What's it? Ordnance fragment. We've discovered a fragment of whatever weapon struck this ship. Given the design, it seems unlikely that their enemy had very similar technology levels. Cool. Alright, I imagine that is generally going to be it. We've missed a few pieces, uh, but let's uh, have a go anyway. Man, this is some big ships. Salvagine one. Big old ship here. Gotta admit, didn't expect that. Oh, I thought that was... <gasps> Two adamantine! Yes! All the adamantine, please. Oh, there's a couple of bits up there. Ah, go on, turn quicker. Yeah. There we go. And no. Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be it. Okay, we are all done here. Salvaged what we can, apart from this one static piece there. No, oh, that's it. That is it. Uh, let's continue to explore. There's another. Looks like another asteroid over here, presumably with more rare materials. I have a feeling. We've got some more planets to explore though first. So let's go ahead. Look at them, we've got one right here that looks like a gas, another gas giant with rings. No anomalies. Uh, tranquil clouds. The upper atmosphere is unusually calm. So calm that it behaves like an enormous cloud chamber, allowing us to study high speed particles on a very large scale. That's cool. Very nice. Class F planet. Alright. Now I assume this is another one of those asteroids because the has the same icon. Yes it does. Are you also Neutronium? Let's find out. Or are you something different? Pium 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 pium. Are you anything? You are more Neutronium. Alright, well, I don't think we need to see any more. I don't think we need any more of that. Alright, cool. We've got quite a bit. I mean, we could do and we could just sell it for anything we need. We're going to need stuff anyway. <laughs> for the, uh... For the base. So, we've got one more planet. Nothing. No anomalies at all, but that's fine. It's still been worth coming up here. Is there anything else around? No, long range scanners. We've got long range scanners now, so we should be able to see stuff quite far away, but no sign of anything. And we do have an anomaly here. Okay, rising ocean levels have erased most evidence of this planet's civilization. Atop a high plateau, a slowly corroding radio telescope array is one of the few remaining artifacts. The civilization's tech level suggests that there was that there's probably not much to learn here. But the array contains some useful minerals. Yeah, we'll take the titanium. Mostly steel and aluminum, but we do get some titanium. Cool. Or aluminium, as the uh, our American friends would say. Alright, um, I guess I wouldn't mind 
some more neutronium. Obviously, I'm not going to make you sit through this. I'm just going to sit here for a bit and go pew 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 pew, <laughs> essentially. So, yeah, back in a moment. Alright, so I've gone ahead and got a little bit more. To be honest, not a whole lot more. Just, uh, just a bit more. So, give me one more. Don't make- there we go. Very nice, thank you. We're gonna go back across this way. And we're gonna head back home again, actually. And we're gonna explore that anomaly that we, uh, that we've just discovered very close to home. I have a feeling that's something we were probably meant to do quite early on. So we'll get back across, and then we will It'd be quicker to go that way, wasn't it? Ah, whatever. We've already committed. Yeah, we'll go over here, and then we'll make our way up, 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 and away. Okay, we are... Oh, there's a, there's a nasty about. A sentinel cutter. Yeah, I don't want any of you. Anything to do with you. Stay away from my friends. Yeah, you, you get out of here. Go on. I dare you to hit the trader. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's wait for those missiles to come back. Uh, absolutely, have advanced life support. And um, we got a little bit. It seems pretty trivial. Stuff about weapons. Cool. Um, no, we're not going to trade goods for now, matey. We are in the middle of a, of a fight, don't you know? Haven't you heard? Four. And five, just about reach. Nice. Okay, we can we can deal with these, but more missiles would be nice. I think we need a third launcher. No, no, that was the one from earlier. Okay, back home to Kite Station, or to this area anyway. Okay, and we are going to head up uh, that way. Oh, it's a bit of a trek, isn't it? Do you know what? It is quite a trek. Let's go back to the station. I want to see if I can improve my speed. I've got the research points, so I might as well. Let's just... Uh, there we go. Billman? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. The commissary is out of coffee. Oh, gosh. I, I'm going to have to find coffee. It's not the commissary's fault we're stranded in a galaxy that doesn't have coffee. Caffeine pills are available from fabricators. <laughs> Hang on one moment. Ah, I'm just enjoying my own coffee here. Okay, Pillman, what do you got for me? The broken drive you brought us is definitely not something Starcom is anywhere near developing, but it uses a number of techniques that I have seen in the fleet. Regardless of its provenance, this opens up a new area of propulsion research for us. Yay, whoopee, I get to stay here and research. Is there anything else? How about those parts? I'll get the hell out of my office. All right, sure, dude. We're out, we're going. Um, can we really not build anything? Titanium 65, that's why we haven't got enough titanium, okay. We can buy, we can easily buy titanium, hang on, shipyard. We've got enough cobalt to put in another launcher, maybe... Tons of neutronium, okay, uh, that's not what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to do with this, no, I am meant to research though. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, I, I, I'll sort this out, I'll sort myself out. Give me a moment. Substantial additional increase to our ship's deep space boost. That's what we want. Great, let's test this out. Let's leave the station. Oh, Mr. Trader, where did you go? Where's that Uliquo Trader? Is he, oh, okay. That's a shame. All right, whatever, man. Laters. Let's test this baby out. Let's see what we are capable of doing now. So we are... But before it was uh, 106.4, I think. We could maybe go about that. Um, oh, hello. Look at this. Oh, 130, 140, 150. We are, we are sailing. Not sailing, we're just we're storming it, that's it. We're storming it. We'll be at that anomaly in no time. Galactic dust. Here in deep space, our instruments confirm that the high free, high free hydrogen density isn't just localized phenomenon. This galaxy is like a very thin nebula. Someday all of this will 
coalesce into stars. I have no idea if I read out that word at all correctly, but whatever. So about 152.9 is what we can do. That is pretty impressive. We'll, we'll round it up to a 1553. But um, yeah, I know this is good. So 6,000 AU away. We're nearly there. And apparently that is what's at the center. Oscillating main sequence. Hmm. I've forgotten what the title of the story was. Or whatever this anomaly is, is about. Um, let's go find out though, shall we? Let's go find out if there's anything else there. Okay, we are getting planets up here. We'll start off this one over here. And then we'll make our way over there. What's that? I'm sorry, what's this called? Oh, unscanned. What was it? Unscripted. Unscripted planet. Blah, 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 blah. Or was it just be bad improv? No anomaly. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at this thing. I assume this is in some way, some way special. Oh, there's something else here. What on earth is that? What is that? It's a... what, what, what is that? Hello? Hmm. Hey, look, we've got another... A singing star, too subtle for the eye. Scanners show this dim yellow star's output seems to oscillate over time in an irregular, almost musical harmonic period. The power output of this star may vary, but by 5-10% to over several decades. The cause of this oscillation is unknown, possibly convection patterns moderating fusion or something. Okay, at least we've got a way back home. Would have been cool to see what that ship was. I don't think we can chase it though. <laughs> I really don't think we can. Scan over here. Alright, surface anomaly. Maybe it came from this planet. I, I imagine it did. Yep, the humanoid population of this planet seemed to be stuck in what what the Team Xeno culture expert calls medieval stasis, technology stalled in the equivalent of Earth's late Iron Age. She speculates it may be due to an irregular growing season which triggers frequent conflict over scarce resources. Technically, direct intervention of this culture is prohibited by Starcom directives. Um, Leave the primitives alone. Uh, let's view them from a distance. Predictably, the population has absolutely zero technological value, nor do they appear to have sufficient resources to justify interaction. There is an interesting aspect of local folklore the team picks up from a micro drone. Apparently, there was recently an event that caused a great deal of panic. A red demon appeared in the sky. According to local myths, it has flown off into flown off to a sunken ship long beneath the northern sea, where it sleeps for now. As you know. Culture expert believes that it is probably superstitious in interpretation of some natural phenomena. Okay. I mean, what was, what was that ship that went down there? Like, what actually was it? I don't know. Is there anything else up here? Yes, we do. We've also got a nebula over there. I mean, we can well, we can get over here in no time. Oh, hang on. Was that... I saw, I saw you. Don't think I did not see you. I saw you. Look, it looked like a jellyfish, didn't it? <gasps> Is it the jellyfish from um, the first episode of Next Gen? That'd be kind of awesome. Come back, jellyfish. We can be friends. We can be friends. I'm pretty sure as well he was going up here, wasn't he? There, there. There it is. <gasps> what is it? Hello? Discovery a red comet. Oh, okay, this self illuminated reddish color. Yeah, we should be on the lookout for more variants of these. Neat. We've also found another wreckage, just like the one from, uh, from earlier. Wait, what have you got? Are you going to have special parts for me? That is the question. That's what I want. Oh, bits and bobs. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. There's a minefield here. <laughs> there is. Someone's left a minefield here for me. Probably be careful. Oh wow. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, what do we get? Mine internals. Oh hello. Yes, you don't say. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, there's there's a few too many of them. I feel uncomfortable. That did a lot of damage though, so we should probably just uh, cool our jets for a moment. And not go a hundred miles an hour, but our ship appears to be almost a little bit too quick. 
There's, a, there's tons of them. They need to go way out, don't they? Oh, that's been activated. Crew, get repairing, please. More adamantine. Oh, that is. Mm -mm. That is great. Oh, yes. I just realized these ships are like, no, oh, however many hundred times sizes bigger than the planet. I get it's obviously not, they're not really. It's just giving you the impression they are. Um, nom nom nom, thank you. So we'll do this until we find maybe another bit of research. Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. Ah! Comet, save me! Comet, please, come save me. Let's stay away. I wonder what will happen if that hits me. Free platinum? Cool. I mean, we've not found any more research, so I have a feeling there might not be anything else around here. Just a hunch. Let's get rid of some of these mines. Oh, yeah, that's set them all off and we can't appear to hit them. I wonder if we can destroy that comet. <gasps> oh, but it's so pretty. It would be very rude to destroy it, I have to, I have to say. Okay, you can, you can, you can hit them now. Not the most accurate of lasers, are they? I could upgrade them, but... I mean, we're not done with laser technology. Just, uh... It's not the best, is it? There we go. Actually, that was good. We need them anyway. We need them for moments like this. Because otherwise I'm just launch launching missiles at them. <laughs> so they are kind of important. So all we got there were some extra mark... Well, we got a hundred research points, basically. As well as a load of resources. So let's just make our way back up. And out. I think. Oh, gosh, hang on. Uh, blow one up, I should get rid of all of them, right? Yeah, close enough. Right, we're out of here. Hopefully you don't follow me around the galaxy. <laughs> Imagine if we did that. That would suck. Alright, um, I guess that'll do for this one. We're gonna go up and explore this uh, orange main sequence up here. See what we can find. Oh, there's a white dwarf star. It appears we found our next sort of area to explore. So, until then, I will see you all uh, next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.